Something consciously I was trying to do was to honor the sense of space, but also the sense of time. Allowing the scenes to flow in which the camera is more like a ghost that comes from the future and is in that place and is just witnessing. And that was the reason also I discussed with Chivo while he was there, the idea of shooting black and white, but digital 65. So it was contemporary filmmaking looking into the past. Chivo Lubeski was, was doing the film. I mean, he was going to do the film. I wrote it thinking of Chivo. And what happened is that I needed also more time for pre-production, so the, the, the dates kept on drifting and expanding. And there was a point it was impossible for Chivo to do it because he had pr other uh, previous commitments. There were a couple of possibilities of cinematographers I admire, but I realized that the communication was going to be in English. And it was against the process that I wanted to because I wanted to reconnect with some material, but all the time from the standpoint of my mother tongue. So that's the reason Chivo didn't do it, but Chivo, I think that Chivo's DNA is in this film, uh, speaking of DNAs, uh, because some of the main choices that we did, in, we did the, the, through in the pre-production are here and pa are part of the essence of the film. I wasn't aware of the challenge that it was gonna be in terms of how specifically we had to choose the colors of the wardrobe, the textures on the walls and everything because it needed to pop differently. So it would make no sense in a color film, but it needed to work for black and white. So it was a process of getting used to understanding the film in black and white. He made all of us, the entire crew, show him only black and white images of sets, wardrobes, fittings, everything. So we got into that rhythm, I think, pretty quickly in order to make, you know, show him exactly what it is that he wanted. <laughs>